What's up, guys? So, I get asked, uh, since I've said I wanted to go primitive, you know, and I'm getting more, more primitive about my, uh, like, everyday kit and how I'm doing things out at the cabin and all. So, I've had a few questions about what's in my, like, everyday carry kit, you know, when I'm tramping through the woods or just, you know, uh, out on the farm out around the cabin, just, you know, my day-to-day, -day, like, journey bag, so to speak. I've carried a backpack for a long time, and, uh, y'all see my painting? I ran out of paint, or actually, I've got another gallon, I didn't want to open it, but anyway, uh, and I've tried to get away from nylon backpacks and modern backpacks, and honestly, I just don't want to carry all the crap. I, I don't like having a big backpack with not much stuff in it, so I narrowed down my kit, and I ordered a new bag, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to show you like my, my EDC kit, so to speak, when, when I'm talking about in the woods. My uh, Frontier Pioneer Trapper travel bag. So let's talk about that. Okay. So I, I've refined this kit, okay, because there's, there's just, I don't need a big backpack because there's just not a lot of stuff to carry. So, I'm going to show y'all what I carry, but I got some new stuff, so, or I've got something new that I'm super stoked about, and let's check it out. Alright guys, so, let's check out this new bag. I guess you can see who it's from. I've become a super fan of their products. Self-Reliance Outfitters, Dave Canterbury's company. Uh, man, I got the bottle bag and the water bottle. Totally digging it. Um, so carry that and if you remember I did a video on a possibles bag because I'm pretty much just carrying black powder my pistol is a cap and ball um, and my rifle is a 50 caliber st. Louis uh, style Hawkins <coughs> that I built I also did a video on that um, but my backpacks I don't have any nylon backpack. I mean, I don't have anything but nylon backpacks. And I've wanted a haversack. I've looked at them. I've looked at canvas and uh, burlap and, I mean, everything you can think of. And I had really refined my kit down <clears throat> to just these few things. And a backpack was just too big. So I picked up this. It's a haversack. Got a strap. Put the lid. The strap area is reinforced. Super great quality. The stitching. Phenomenal. Uh, and it's wax canvas. So we're getting back more to the style that I really want. So I can carry this on one side. My possible's bag on the other and a rifle or I could actually carry my uh, powder and ball and just do my cap and ball pistol with just this bag you know gives you a good uh, collect fire tender or, or anything while you're out so what do I carry in my kit let's break it down I, I, I do go by it's not just Dave Canterbury uh, Corporal's Corner any any of the reputable survival guys talk about the five c's uh candling cutting combustion container and cordage so and dave canterbury is real big in redundancy i'm not super big in redundancy mainly because i've done a lot of long distance hiking and redundancy is weight and weight is murder so a piece of canvas, a simple piece of canvas that's been treated. Uh, I didn't use the linseed oil and, and turpentine mixture. I, I actually just used like a tent sealant spray. It don't have to be waterproof. It just needs to be water resistant. And that works. So what do I carry in it? Remember the Mora that I didn't like? But I said it worked great with a ferro rod. 
So those two, and a piece of fatwood. You get shavings, you know, great for fire starting. I'm in this bald spot back here, it's driving me crazy. But anyway, I just take it in this canvas. Lay three items out, flip it over, flip it over, flip it over, leather, just a leather strap. Cut it to the length I needed. And one of these little cinch thingies. So, that gives me combustion and cutlery. Cordage. A roll, about half a roll. Number 36 bank line. The best of money can buy. Beats paracord any day of the week. Redundancy on cutting a saw. And I did a video on a <coughs> I did a video on a uh, folding camp saw or a, a portable camp saw, buck saw. <coughs> I will probably be carrying it, but it'll be more of a backpack item uh, when I get back to that level. This is more for just venturing out. You need to go down to the creek to get water, uh, go exploring, trailblazing, uh, zones of assessment, that type thing. But, got a good saw. I don't know what brand it is. Got a great blade on it. Um, you know, it's your your basic basic necessities. So, container, a 750 ml. This is that. Uh, if y'all remember, I did a video on the Camilla Survival Cup. I didn't really like it. Uh, I wasn't really impressed with the the contents, but they serve a basic purpose, and they'll do. And a lot of this stuff you could actually take out. I put it in mainly for this video. Uh, but we'll get into that in a second. I carry a tin for making char cloth. I've already made some. But I always keep char cloth. I do believe in this stuff. I use it at the cabin. And then I've got another Altoids tin. I keep fat wood shavings. So I always keep those because those are great in wet conditions. So, what do we keep in here? This is the stuff that came in it. I left it in. It's a uh, garbage bag. You could use for a shelter. It's a bandana and a mosquito net. I guess you could filter water and whatnot. That stuff seems somewhat kind of useful. Uh, matches. As you can see, I get really redundant on fire starting. A big lighter. Always carry a lighter. If it gets wet, it won't work, but if it ain't wet, it'll work. That's actually my striker for my ferro rod. Uh, magnesium. Set matches. And this little dude, got it on eBay. A uh, couple bucks. Fantastic for uh, blowing in a fire. You know, nurturing that ember. And always keep some water purification tablets. I have a life straw, but it's actually in my backpack. I forgot to get it out to make this video. But anyway, and all this stuff fits really neatly.
in this cup. Then, we have a bag, canvas bag. I had to put some, uh, the stitching was tearing, uh, Gorilla Tape, to reinforce the seam. But I made it, it took like 45 minutes. Sewed a piece of leather in it with another one of those little clasp thingies. But... Toy tins. And it's mostly waterproof, not that it really matters. So, take our bag, it's our container with a uh, combustion. Oh, candling, my headlamp is actually, I was using it last night for the dogs to do something with the dogs. Still got plenty of room, plenty of room. So, so that's my new bag. That's what I will be carrying from now on. So, check out Self Reliance Outfitters. Check out some of their gear. Uh, I really like this, man. It, the canvas, the wax canvas bag, and the canvas stuff with the just the metal cup. It, it I, I know it's silly, and a lot of y'all probably don't understand, but getting more back to my roots, not just bushcraft, more of the simple, I guess, way of life. Out at the cabin, I really enjoy it. The, the frontier trapper, French fur trader era type stuff. I, I really enjoy it. So, Pathfinder, uh, Self-Reliance Outfitters, Pathfinder Survival School, and uh, you can make a lot of this stuff yourself, but that's what all I carry, and obviously I carry my Mora uh, Bushcraft Bush Knife on my belt, and I will carry a Cap and Ball 1858 Remington Replica Pieta Revolver, and Possible's bag on this side with uh, my powder and whatnot, and that's pretty much my setup for tramping through the forest. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It was just kind of a quick rundown of my stuff. Uh, so, that's what we got. All the links will be down in the descriptions. Uh, remember, we got a giveaway coming up, so share it far and wide. Let's get to 500, and I'm going to take everybody that comments on the announcement video at 500 subscribers, and we're going to give away a Sullivan Trap Pan Tension Tester. Uh, free of charge. I'm going to send it to you on my nickel. It won't cost you a dime because I want y'all to have it and I want to say thank you. So I really appreciate you guys. I love and, and, and appreciate everything you do for me and Beach Buff Outdoors. And uh, we're going to wrap it up. All the links down below. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next video.